Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Thickest. This is a new episode of the Giant Tree House Project. If you haven't watched our previous videos, then we built this house in two weeks. We made a giant base on which we made the walls a couple of days ago. You just check it out, what a huge room it turned out. This is one of the largest houses we have ever made. Here we can easily make multiple bedrooms, a kitchen and much more because there is enough space for everything. We'll insulate the walls of our house, then seal them up with clapboard. We also installed two chambers insulated windows, already installed the doors and now it remains to make the roof. We also need good stairs but first of all we'll make the roof because it's cold outside and it may snow soon. We want to make a huge stairs from here to here that is there will be such wide steps they will go up to this level. It will be like a podium but that's not the point. The main thing that today we came up with a cool idea to make a balcony around the entire circumference of the house. There will be a balcony around the entire circumference that is you can walk around the house. The balcony the balcony will be approximately up to here. It turns out that the roof must be made about the balcony. We came up with a good idea on time, then we'll make the stairs. Guys, we thought for a long time from which timber we should make the ceiling. At first we wanted to make it out of the thin beam and just not to go there, but at the last moment we decided that we would make a room in our attic where we could work or lie down. Perhaps there will be a room, so I bought a thicker ones. Look how many timbers were bought again. So we made this cobweb platform for a ceiling, but first we'll set out our roof. For centering we have put such temporary beams so far, but Sergei seems to have found the relative center of our area, along which we'll make the top of our roof. We'll have a tapered roof, it seems to be called like that. Also with the help of these temporary beams, we can navigate in space and visually represent the future rooms. Sergei proposes to separate the room in the shape of a triangle. Look here, we can already make a room. And I propose to make it rhomboid. Here we got such a large room. Probably not all of our subscribers have such a room. I just thought about making not complete walls but just partitions up to this level and we can put flower pots on them. Thus we won't lose all the space in the house but at the same time we'll divide our personal space. In general our design is stable, when we put the floor down it will be possible to dance here but not for Sergei because he's heavy. Sege has just photographed how I hold the timber and now from these photos we'll try to understand what height of the rooftop we need to make. Guys, you can never guess what I came up with. I decided to use this place under the house at least a little. You wrote in the comments to make a kitchen or wood burning stove here, but we'll make a table here like a bar counter. We'll make bar stools and there will be a lounge area. It will be possible to sit here to eat. Fika says that we can cut something for cooking here. All in all, I think this is a good idea. We'll figure out the rest of the place with what to fill. I think it turned out a little high, but this is not the problem. Now the main thing is to make high chairs. By the way, we'll also make them from the forest materials, that is, from woods. They will be like wooden trunks. See how cozy it has become with our ceiling. It's not finished yet, but we put the boards down so that it would be convenient to make the roof. That is, so that there was something to walk on. Now let's go upstairs and see how it's there. Was the height there and everything else? We didn't just put the boards down, it's a ready-made floor. In our previous house, the height was much lower, it seems. Of course it was. Even the terrace was much lower. Fikas just suggested making another roof by the trees, but I think this is a bad idea because if it snows, then all its weight will put pressure on this house and anything can happen. We'll make a bridge from here to those trees and over there we'll make a trees. We'll simply raise this bridge or a little higher so that it's approximately at this level. And there we'll have a trees like a lounge zone. We'll put a breeze out there and everything will be cool. Write in the comments, should we make a hanging bridge as we did the last time? Or a regular one, I mean a stationary one made of wood. I'm now thinking about how best to make a fence, maybe a big stretch with such a distance, I think it will be normal, I will also do a few vertical stretches and then we'll definitely get a cool fence. Also check out what else I bought, a sign R for private property, I hope no one steals them. I also bought this, the object is guarded, we'll hang it somewhere here, I also want to make a gate on wells, it should slide like this, it's necessary to make something like rails so that the gates close like this. Well below it will need to be concreted. Maybe but if the gate is hinged then there will be too much weight on low 
allowed on the fence, we have the same problem in the country house, so making a gate on our walls is the most ideal option. By the way, because it's even possible to make not a solid gate, but to make a simple framework and make the metal from the barbed wire too. Yeah, more but there is a slope there. Yes, it will be cool. So we came up to the depths of the forest to saw logs. Hopefully today we'll finish our fence because we only have to finish the front side. We'll even fix our barbed wire today and our fence will be ready. Guys, I got a cool idea that if the heating is made not just from the heater, but will make real radiators, and the boiler will be located downstairs. Firstly, it won't stink, and secondly, the heat will be evenly distributed throughout the house. I like the radiator idea. We'll install three of them. Write in the comments what is better, a heater or a radiators. We decided to make the surface of our bar counter from the remnants of the timber, but it so happened that we didn't have enough of them for the weight that was there. So we moved our bar counter to where the width is slightly smaller, but still there will be enough space for four people to here and to there and for the chairs we took such logs we'll dig them in and we'll screw a round wooden disc that will serve as a seat so the day is already approaching to the end and we have only completely sewn up the floor and we're planning to make at least the framework of the future roof as you can see we have already made the hatchway although we haven't yet made a cover for it but we'll do it later we are now at the stage where we'll install the top of our roof how's it there can we transfer something from there well, we can easily go in and out of it. Now we are installing the top. For this, we took such a huge bar. We, of course, wanted to make such a height so that we could stand here freely. But then the length of these beams, which will hold the roof, will not be enough for us to close the balcony, which will build in the future. But two meter, that's about this much. It will be enough for us too. Yes, we can climb upstairs and stand. We can even lie down here. I'll dry mushrooms there under the roof. By the way, there was a strong wind today, the pines swayed strongly, the house creaked a little, but we knew for sure that nothing would happen to it. Although for a while I was a little scared because if the tree bends strongly from the wind, it will crush the house. It's calm now. Yes, now it's completely calm, there was a strong wind and now it's like nothing happened. Generally, for the tree houses to build them perfectly, you need to cut down the tops of the trees, which gave a wind effect. But we felt sorry for the trees and we decided not to cut them down. If ever we see a real tree to our house, then we'll climb in and cut the tops of the trees. So that our bar stools don't fall and the legs stand firmly and securely, we connected them together below and then we'll simply dig this part into the ground. Cool. But we need to dig it even deeper. Yes, yes, it should be deeper. It would be better to cement it. Well, let's test it. Wow! So where's my Borsch? You know what, we also need to screw something here so that there is somewhere to put our legs. This is sorely lacking. We need to screw something here. I also think we need to put it a little closer. So we have distributed the work and screwing on the rafters and Fikas is screwing on the battens. We decided that we wouldn't fasten the battens a lot because we don't yet know what we'll use to sew up our roof. We think that we'll sew it with the most expensive material so that our house is cool, but it's possible that we'll buy underlying. By the way, you can stand here, you can definitely lie down, you can even put several beds. That is a hatch through which you can go up here. I like it here. We wouldn't build a sauna here because we'll still have a lot of space for that, but here we can definitely just relax. So how do you like the house? In the next video we'll finish off the roof and work on finishing. We'll make furniture hidden where the house as well as install lighting near the house. If you are waiting for the continuation, then support this video with your likes and write all your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel. It was Fikas and interesting with you. Until next time. Blah, blah.